to have that feeling uh, this year after not having it last year? What did it mean to get the win on your home field? Yeah, it meant, it meant a lot. Like you said, uh, not winning last year was something that we've been thinking about since we lost, and we just didn't want that to happen again. And I'm proud of the team for the way we fought and the way we per persevered through the game. You were questionable heading into this one, but with it being your last third Saturday in October, was there anything that was going to keep you out of this one? No, nah, nothing was going to keep me out of this one. I ain't going to lie. What was the mood in the locker room? Did y'all, because a lot in the line in the second half, what was the mood in the locker room and kind of the resolve that y'all came out with? Uh, we just told everybody to just keep fighting and this is what we do. Like, we built for situations like this and uh, if we want to be a good team, we're going to have to fight through adversity. And that's what we did out there today. And we really came together as a team and uh, went out there and played and finished the game for 60 minutes. Did that feel like the first 30 minutes where y'all felt like some of the teams you've been on in the past, but like you're playing kind of national championship caliber? Uh, yeah, I would just I would just say that we really not worried about um, the outcome of a game. We just talked about going out there and play the next play, play the next play, and uh, just do our job. Just do our job and execute the calls and execute uh, everything that we have to do. Was that the best the crowd has been this season? Yeah, yeah, I, I, mean, I mess with that. I, lo I love how the uh, crowd was rocking today. How big was it for y'all's defense for the offense to come out and score right away in the second half? It, it just set the tone. It set the tone coming out uh, of halftime, and I think we we um, we filled off that. Seeing them go down there and score that quick, and we just went out there and we just said, "Don't let them score. Don't let them score." That was our mindset, and that's what we did. Malachi, the, the success you guys had on those fourth down run stops. Take me through that and what worked there. Um, it was just uh, the play call. We knew they were gonna run the ball when it's fourth and short, fourth and short like that, and you know it all comes down to execution and. Guys went out there and executed. Jahai had a had a big stop, and uh, that's what we built for. That's how we train, and uh, that's just the goal we have. Do you take it personal when it's offense field that can get a fourth and one on you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. When when it's fourth down or something like that, the defense definitely take it personal when they try to get uh, go go for it on fourth down, and yeah. This team seems to kind of have a little bit of a flair for the dramatic. You've won several close games in a row. Why do you think that is that you guys are comfortable in those situations? Uh, I just think it's from the from the, how close this team is. This team, this team is very close together and uh, we know how hard we've been working since the summer and everything like that. So that's just our motto is play the next play, play the next play, don't worry about the score and just keep playing with relentless effort. How bad do you think this team needs this week off? It, it, you know, bad. <laughs> <laughs> it it feels good that, to know we got uh, some rest coming next week. What was your perspective on the Jahai Campbell touchdown? Oh, it was crazy because we was talking about uh, let's go out there and get a stop uh, three and out, but we always talk about let's get the ball, let's go score. And so when it happened, it just it just what we were talking about. We just went out there and executed. Somebody made that big play. I think it was Brad who had the strip and Jahai scooped in and scored. Did the defense get a few extra cigars after that second half performance? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Speaking of the bye week, how good does it feel to head into the bye week with a win instead of, you know, Obviously, like on the, on the yeah, other yeah, it, it's it's big to head into the bye week um, with the W because you know we don't play next week, so if we would have lost. It would have definitely took a longer to go back out there and have another opportunity to uh, to win the game. But it feels great, and we needed that momentum going into the bye week. At halftime, is it business as usual? What do you where do you guys group on defense? Is it all together as a team, and what what goes down? Because you guys have been in this situation before. Yeah, we just we just have a lot of uh, we have a lot of good leadership on the team. Everybody's in there talking, being positive, uh, uplifting their teammates, uplifting their brothers, and telling each other we believe in each other. We trust everybody who's on the field to go out there and execute their job, and and that's what we did. You referenced how close this team is. What's gone into the team bonding aspects where? Is that closest? Uh, I think it started in the spring, and it was something that we uh, been emphasizing a lot during the offseason. Just knowing each other, knowing your brother, uh, it's gonna make it easier for us to go out there and play. And we just we hang out a lot together. We talk about our goals together, and and I think that's that that helps a lot when you come out and feel you in a tough situation like that because you know what your brother's gonna give you, and you know what you're gonna give him. What does it say about Trey being able to come in? step up for Terry on in the second half. Yeah, well, you know, we always tell people to be ready. You never know when your time comes. And Trey's one of those guys who comes to practice every day and goes to work uh, like he's a starter. And when he got his opportunity today, uh, it didn't surprise me at all that he would go out there strap. Did y'all, were y'all kind of aware that people were maybe doubting y'all coming oh, in? Oh, yeah, we, we, we aware of that. And we know people are always going to doubt us no matter how good or how bad we play. And we always know that there's doubters out there. Do you think they doubt you last half of the second half? I mean, hey, that's up to them. <laughs> Good.